everyone welcome to my channel um, my name's Elaine if you haven't been here before um, I'm a lifestyle channel and I do videos on I do anything to do with the house and home I do fashion and try-ons I do shopping hauls I do DIYs um, I do a bit of everything guys um, so hopefully you watch some of my videos and if you like the channel um, I would love it if you would subscribe um, and press the notification bell so you don't miss any uploads that I, um, that I do and for all of you returning viewers you know thank you so much for your continuing support throughout 2022 and um, you know and, and before that as well but I only really kind of got into my channel in uh, this time last year January 2022 and we've had a great year um so i hope you stick with me guys there's a loads coming up this year you know in 2023 i hope you all had a lovely christmas with your loved ones and um i hope that this year is going to be a wonderful year for you all you know wish you all peace and happiness and good health um right so me and David host Christmas dinner and uh, we hosted for like quite a few people, you know. Uh, we had 10 a year this year. Sometimes it's more, but it's never really less than 10 people. Um, and afterwards, we're like really, really, well, knackered. <laughs> and we'll, we always like to go away for a break. And uh, we do go up to a place called Clennell Hall Country House, which is up in Northumberland. And uh, we got to stay there because it's it's so, so nice, you know. And um, yeah, I, I, I sometimes do some vlogs up there as well. You know, Rocky and Ros, our friends, like us, you know, let me video her up there. Very kind of them to let me do that. And uh, yeah, it's just a lovely, lovely place. So if you're looking for a break, you know, and they're really reasonably priced as well. Um, if you're looking for a break and you want to just get out, you know, with total peace and tranquility um, and with a friendly atmosphere, uh, Clendal's a really, really nice place to stay. And um, you can take your pets as well, your dog, you know, you can take your dog it's uh, because the dog friendly. But yes, we love it up at Clennell. You know, it's like our home from home. Our they're like our family, you know. Um, and you'll find like your horse, Rocky and Rose, are just the, the, the most loveliest people you'll ever meet, you know. I'm going to leave all of the details for Clennell in the description box below in case you might want to book a steer there. Um, as I say, they're really like competitively priced and um, it's just a lovely place. So as I mentioned, we like to escape, you know, from all of the you know the build up at Christmas time and we like to go up to Clennell and like totally sort of relax and uh, and see in the new year up there so I'm going to the next footage you see is going to be of us at Clennell Hall and um, so I hope you enjoy Hi you guys so we've just arrived at um, Clennell House and um, we're in this room I'm going to flip you around and show you and um, we've got a lovely scenery outside I'll show you that first so this is our view from outside we've got the view there and if you remember the little seat if um, if you've watched my videos for a while um, I've sat in this seat before in one of my videos but it's a lovely view outside I love the windows in here all dead all the old fashioned and like stone this one's actually being painted right we've got the door here it's dead small I mean I'm not very tall guys and I'll stand beside it yeah I'm not very tall guys and look it's like my head's nearly up to it. So it's a very, very little door. And um, David's gonna have to duck when he comes in. Um, but yes, the tiny little door. We've got Lily. Lily, hi Lil. Lil's on our little mini break as well. Um, we've got Chester drawers here and tea, coffee, make them. TV and kind of dressing table. I'll probably use this as a dressing table. Um, We've got a sofa there and this is a huge fireplace. Yeah, this is like a huge fireplace. It's as tall as me and it's as tall as it is wide as well. Um, just a little corner there with a mirror and chair and table. And this is the bed. Um, I think all the beds are the same. All the, all the furniture is the same in the hotel. Um, 
like throughout. I've uh, got the two bedside tables with the lamps in the bed there. Um, and there's a cupboard in the corner, which is like a walk-in cupboard, like for you, you know, your clothes, your luggage and things like that. Um, and then I'll take you in the bathroom. Lily, Lily's getting underfoot. Lily wants to have a look in the bathroom. Lily, you've been in there? <laughs> so yes, this is the bathroom. I'll take you in. Um, just to radiate the other cell bags, we need to put everything in that cupboard. Um, we've got a bath here and the shower, uh, just like an over bath shower, it is. And we have a um, sink here with a mirror above. And uh, Ros has left us out some toiletries. Um, and yeah, that's just the loo. Oh, look at that little window. How cute is that? It's like a tiny little window. Don't know if it opens. I'll have to try it. We well, might get it open and never get it closed. This is a very, very old building, guys. Um, I'm not really quite sure how old it is. I will ask Rocky and um, yeah, but everything's like, I just love the old quirkiness of it, you know. Um, I think I've shown you this room before, out here. Or I'll show you when Dave comes back, because Lily just is trying to take over at the hotel. Yeah, um, we're in room nine, and I'm sure I've shown you this before. It's room nine and three quarters. It's the Harry Potter room, and that's this one here. But look at the um, door frame on this one. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the door frame on this one. But this is nine and three quarters in here. It's dead cute, this room. You know, if you've got, like, kiddies coming as well. This is it. It's really nice and warm in here. Um, that's the window and the two beds. It's a twin room. And you've got the uh, broomstick on there, the Nimbus 2000. And a few Harry Potter things up here. You've got Hedwig there in the cage and it's a really cute little room Hogwarts and a little lamp there and here you've got like a mirror for them and they can use this for their you know laptops and that you know with kids the travel with like DS's and laptops I mean I know my son does so that's a nice little area for them to put like their you know set up a little computer kind of station um, and there's a TV there and the free view uh, so it's a lovely like little room I love this room oh this room's absolutely beautiful guys it's their like um, conference and events room but it really is so beautiful. I just love all of the plaster work. And Ros has got all the beautiful seat co um, chair covers on. And here. Beautiful window and scenery. I mean, it's just a pan panoramic, like, scenery. It's an absolute beautiful room, this one. Lily's off. She's going to the bar. Lily's just been for a night time walk and she's covered in mud. <laughs> she's a right mucky pup. So we're just cleaning her down. And then we'll go into the bar because Lily likes the bar. Yeah, Lily gets the in the bar. Lily gets lots of treats in the bar. Look at her harness. <laughs> so I'm going to clean this and put it on the radiator. And Lily's a good girl. Are you? We've got the bar? Yes. You want to see Bailey? <laughs> Are you happy, Willow? Lily's having a bee, Sean Buzz. Good girl. <laughs> good girl. Good girl. Yes. Oh, 
Mookins. Mookins. <laughs> Never run around. She was, <laughs> she was running around crazy. Like this. <laughs> you wouldn't think she's nearly 12. <laughs> There's water. Good girl. <laughs> Lily! Wee -wee -woo -woo. Lily, is it time? I think she's thirsty. There's water downstairs, you know, in the bar, but Lily, she'll not drink um, if another dog's drunk in the bowl. So, um, she's very, very fussy, is Lily. So she'll only drink out of her own bowl. She's really strange like that. She's still thirsty, little little. Lily! Is it time? What time is it? Lulu, is it time? Is it time for doggy dindins? What's this? What's this? Oh, what's this? <laughs> it's just... I think she's thirsty, puppy. Yeah. Do you want beef and potatoes? Or lamb and pea? Lamb and pea? Lamb and pea? Let's go with lamb and pea. Lamb and pea? Okay. As long as you don't pee, you're fine. <laughs> is it doggy dindins, Lily? Ooh, she normally goes crazy when you say, is it time? Is it time uh, for doggy dindins? Do She's like, no, just give me it. It's fine, you don't have to chop it up. I'll just have it. <laughs> there you go. We have put some bakers on the top as well. What's she got to Caesar? Caesar it's lemon, Caesar. Lam lemon, lemon pea. But then she likes the bakers as well. Um, so she's got like some bakers on top because <laughs> she likes the crunchy bits. She's wondering, what are you doing sticking that in my face? <laughs> so I think whilst Lily's having her dinner, me and David's going to have a glass of Prosecco. outfit for the night is just my MS dress which yeah got from Marks and Spencer it's like leopardy print dress so and um, my June shoes and um, these ones which I believe you still could get from June so that's my outfit we're gonna go down to dinner
Ahí la leí. Sí, sí, sí. She is. My outfit of the day is um, the dress that I got from Matalan. Um, I love this dress. I think it was only like £27 and I've got my Fairfax and Fever boots on, the Regina's um, and I've put the beige tassels on to match with the dress. Right, we're going to go down for breakfast now. Lily's not too happy. We're going to have to leave her for <laughs> half an hour. Um, but yeah, this is not allowed in the dining area. Um, so yeah, we're going to go down for a good breakfast. Are you ready for your breakfast? <laughs> yeah, so this is the cellar room. It's really nice. This is like the oldest part, isn't it? Of the building. One of the oldest parts of the building. Yeah, there's two entrances. There's this one. And this one here. Lily. <laughs> And um, Rose is starting to serve up a buffet for the night for New Year's Eve um, food. Right, uh, this is our breakfast. Full English. Um, I've got some toast there. And you know what? I've just I've started talking into it. <laughs> and then I thought, oh, lovely. Um, Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. What makes the sun go to sleep every night? And what's it dreaming of? I wonder. Sky sometimes hides behind the clouds. Maybe it's just like me, a little bit scared of heights. Why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside? It really makes me wonder. Hi guys, we're just on the morning walk with uh, Lily and uh, it's a beautiful morning. I haven't even got a coat on. It's like really, really quite mild, isn't it, David? And um, it's not raining. and it was last night. It was like really dark on our, on our nighttime walk with Lily. But look at the scenery. Honestly, it's just, it's amazing. It really is. I'm going to flip you around here. I just, look at the sheep, the little sheep up on the hill. I just love sheep, you know. I mean, look, my dog resembles a sheep. <laughs> Honestly, if um, if I was so lucky to live out in the country, I would love to have sheep. I really would. You've got sheep. <laughs> but it's an absolutely beautiful morning. And you know what, guys? 
like walks like this you know the um they're just so good for the soul you know it's just yeah really refreshing and energizing and um just soul healing so we're going to just continue down here yeah um we're following the river i mean we're not going to follow it <laughs> far and probably lead into some bigger river you know which they tend to do uh probably the river tyne or something um but we're going to just walk along here and just enjoy the nice weather you know but the birds we had an owl last night as well you know um it was like I said to David and I thought it was the middle of the night but it was around midnight um, and I said can you hear that and he went yeah it's an owl and I was like yeah <laughs> and he's like we're in the country alien you can hear things like that and I was like oh that's great you know because um, I've not lived in the country before um, I've only ever visited the country um, but yeah David you've lived in the country before yeah, haven't you yeah, David's lived in the country. He's, he's actually lived in um, well, quite a lot of places. He's a bit of a nomad. <laughs> um, he did live in London, and I do believe he would not live in London again. You, nice to visit, don't want to Yeah, live there. nice to visit, but not to live there again. But um, yeah, this is beautiful, guys. It really is beautiful. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> guys it's currently um new year's eve and um we're at clenel um hall and uh, we're going to the new year's eve like party downstairs um so i'm gonna do a, a little get ready with me for the party so um yeah i'm gonna start off it is the afternoon but um the lighting's like you know we lose the light very quickly um these days but from the the 22nd of december then the days are getting longer you know it is getting lighter the nights are getting lighter so that's good um but it's still it's going to be dark by the time i uh, put my makeup on you know um if i leave it to later and i won't be able to see because the lighting's like not really good here and i haven't brought any other light with me nor ring lights nothing like that so um, i'm just like trying to make the most of the light before of course i'm going to flip you around and show you the view this is the view it's um isn't it beautiful it's just so so healing um the little seat out there it's gorgeous um, and this is my makeup station. I'm just sitting directly in front of the window, you know. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. Okay, guys. So, um, I have moisturised, um, cleansed and moisturised. Right, guys, um, I've got my mirror right here below. I've got you set up on a kettle, honestly. <laughs> um, there the isn't much workspace, as you know. Um, but, yes, I'm going to start off with this primer. It's by La Cura, you know, the Aldi one. I really like this one. I only ever wear a primer when I'm um, when I'm putting a night look on, or, or like if I'm going to a wedding. I only really use primer, you know, if I want my makeup to stay on like extra long, because I do find that um, my makeup does stay on. You know, to be fair, like for just a normal everyday wear, um, but this is just extra, you know, because um, when you you know when you go out on the evening, you tend to go in like clubs where. It gets a bit hot, doesn't it? And your makeup can start to melt a bit. So, um, but as I say, for every day of normal wear, um, I wouldn't, I would not wear a primer. I've used the same foundation for like years now, um, 
and I, I don't see me changing it you know that have discontinued it now it's the same when you find something you know that you really really love why do they always discontinue it but um i love the revlon you know the color steer foundation and i use it in um well i've got it in a few colors i think this one's natural beige and i, I did stock up on this when i knew revlon was stopping doing it so i've got like uh, quite a few bottles um which would last me for a while but i'm old school you know i use the back of my hand as a palette um oh sorry mr step i'm racing ahead it's because i'm i'm trying to um do this before the light goes um i, I use this sorry uh the maybelline um, concealer um, I do like this one I've had like multiple ones of this and I just put it in the places you know where I've got all like high pigmentation um, yeah definitely that bit and that bit I do love this like flat brush for blending it out I think it's a really really nice brush so um, I'm just gonna blend that out a bit You have to be like really careful going close to my eyes because um with a dry eye makes my eyes like water like crazy um but i do find this brush is really really good for blending out i think i might need to do more of these get ready with me videos just like to you know just to get in there so i know how to film them you know practice makes perfect doesn't it so this here so let me know if you'd like to see more of them kind of videos you know channels like it's a new year and um just if you've got any ideas you know it would be great to hear from you um okay so right now i'm ready to move on to the foundation the colors dear comes out I just pop it on the back of my hand like that and uh, do you know what I find the best tools to apply it with sometimes I use a brush but um, I'm traveling light <laughs> uh, this time so what I'm going to do is just fingers guys you know just fingers and you know what the best thing about when you're doing it with your fingers you hardly waste any product you know whilst on a brush you the brush retains like quite a bit of the product so um yeah i do like to use your fingers because you, you don't waste any of it and you know what you can just get right in there you know these like creases here and you know it, it's like when you're cooking as well sometimes your hands are the best tools as long as they're clean <laughs> Just bring that down a little bit. Okay, so I do like to use the Beauty Blender. This is just a damp Beauty Blender. So I'm just popping the tiniest bit of foundation on there. And because it does give a nice finish, you know, like, a, um, not like, like an airbrush finish, but just a nice buffed finish, I guess. So I do like the effect, you know, with the blue Beauty Blender. So I'm just going to go over with that. Right guys, my next step is um, I like to use um, the Ben Nye powder. This is the Cameo one and yeah, I really like this one. So I just, you know, sprinkle a little bit on the, my Kabuki brush and just apply it like that. It is a very, very fine milled powder. It kind of reminds me of theatrical powder, you know, back in the day. Um, 
but yeah, it, um, it is a nice powder. So yes, that's that step. Um, next, I like to put on my concealer. Not concealer, I've done concealer, a craggy contour. So I've got this one, it's a palette by Sleek. And um, I use this one and the highlighter as well. Unfortunately, I haven't got brushes, you know, um, I've not brought enough brushes by far. So I'm just gonna have to pop a little bit of highlighter on using my finger. I really don't like one in products with my finger because you've got oils in your skin and when they get in the product, it's it's not good, guys. So, um, but you know what? I have nothing else to, to reply it with. So I'm just gonna have to, this time, you know, I don't think it'll harm. <laughs> Lily, um, David's actually taken Lily out, you know, for a little walk, afternoon walk. Um, and yes, I, I probably will need to touch up my makeup a little bit later, but you know, it is just touching it up. And uh, we do plan to, you know, um, have a couple of drinks in the bar this afternoon with like friends. Yeah, so hopefully Lily's having a great time. It is drizzling a little bit outside. Um, but she doesn't mind. She doesn't. Dogs don't mind, do they? Um, and when she comes back, she knows she gets in the bath. Um, and then we shower her, you know, to get all of the muck off her. Right, okay. So I'm just going to go in with the, this one here, the um, contour. I don't really need a lot of this because um, I've got really high cheekbones. So they don't really need sort of highlighting that much. Um, I used to hate them. Honestly, I hated my cheekbones when I was younger, but they actually did me a favour, you know. Um, you realise these things later on in life. Things that you really didn't like about yourself, you end up appreciating. It's really quite strange, you know, um, how, we, how we grow, huh? So I'm just going to share it under here as well because, um, yeah, give myself a jawline back. <laughs> a few extra pounds, you know, and age doesn't help, but um, you can kind of, you know, make it look like you have got a jawline again. <laughs> Judicious use of makeup. <laughs> okay. So guys, um, I'm going to actually, oh, do you know what? I've realised I've got a really nicer kind of highlight and it's the Charlotte Tilbury one. Um, I do like my little bourgeois, bourgeois, um, bourgeois blush, but um, you know, I do like to use the Charlotte Tilbury one, Pillow Talk one from time to time. And that's the like little highlighter there. Again, I've got no brush, look at me. <laughs> Desperate times call for desperate measures. Uh, so yes, I'm just going to use the same brush. You know, I'm I'm giving it a good dust off though, um, and I'm going to apply just the outer. I'm just using the outer circle, you know, of the blusher yes. product, and popping it on there. Right, guys. Sorry, David just came back with Lily. She's probably going to cry because he's he's popped on out to the shops, and um, she's probably going to cry after him. Yeah, I'm just using this and um, popping a bit. Of blusher on. I'm putting quite a bit on, guys, because it's um, going to be dark. You know, it's more like a nighttime look. Lily, it's fine. Because he's, he's popped to the shops, you know, and um, she's not happy. <laughs> she doesn't like being left. Um, okay. So I've got this little palette here and it's just a one I picked up from Primark and it's the PS Pro one. And it's a really nice palette, you know. Every time I wear it, people say, oh, what's, what's that eyeshadow you've got on? It's like really nice. And this is it here. And it wasn't very expensive, this. It was under a fiver or about a fiver. So um, again, I don't have many brushes, guys. This is all the brushes I brought. <laughs> this one's double-ended at least, so, you know. It's all right, Lily. Okay, let's start. So I think I'm going to go in with this colour here. Now I am wearing a pink dress, 
so um i have shown it before it was in one of my hauls but you'll see it you know you'll see it when i put it on but i'm gonna um i'm gonna do um like a pink pinky kind of rosy eye look so i'm just putting this color on here just underneath my brow bone I'm just looking up to see that the camera's still recording. You know, it happens, you know. You're like filming and you think the camera's still recording and then it's not and you're like, oh no. <laughs> it's a it's a like a kind of YouTuber, content creator, whatever, you know we are. It's a like our worst nightmare really. And lo like losing footage as well. It's uh, yeah, it's a nightmare. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go in with this colour next. And I don't mind a bit of shimmer because it is New Year's. So guys, I'm going to just, if with hooded eyes, if we like lift and pull. So all I do is lift and pull. And then we can do the, like the windscreen wipe the motion, you know, when we're applying uh eyeshadow otherwise it's really really difficult for us hoodies you know to apply makeup and and then i look forward like look straight ahead so you to check how far that comes up sometimes it needs adjusting you know but this is just the base color lily calm down lily it's fine and then i'm just my lid is very fleshy and it does move around quite a bit so i do dab quite a lot rather than pull you know just one of them things guys you know as you get older um so i'm gonna lift and pull so that's lifting it and pulling it and then i can do the windscreen wiper motion You know, if I ever see this palette again, I'm definitely going to be picking it up. It really is a pretty, pretty palette. Um, I'm just, I don't know if there's a name on the back of it, guys. Hey, ultra pigmented long wearing. It doesn't actually have a palette name. Oh, but it's like rosy colours, you know, like really pretty really really pretty it's my probably one of my favorite palettes do you know and it just goes to show you you know you don't have to spend a lot of money on um on makeup you, you can get cheap makeup from primark that is beautiful as well so i'm just going to blend this out i could totally stop there because i really do like it but um, i'm not i'm going to put more on because it's new year's eve and why not Do you know what I'm going to put on? I love this one. Doesn't that one look pretty? It's like a shimmer. So I'm going to put that one in the outer, you know, the outer corners. Um, that is really pretty, you know. Just going to pop that on. And I do like to do it in sort of this portion of the eye, you know, so I'm just covering like a um, third, a third of the eye in the outer corner. And that's just what works for me, you know, with my like really hooded eyes. I think I was born with hooded eyes, you know, <laughs> seriously. I've always had hooded eyes, always. And I'm just dabbing this on, you know, so it's not to pull the skin. That's a beautiful colour, guys. Honestly, I hope you can see it. Don't we pull some funny faces when we put makeup on? <laughs> Hilarious. I mean, David's used to it now over the years, you know. 
<laughs> me pull a dodgy face <laughs> I'm putting my makeup on okay guys I'm just going to blend that out a little bit so the line isn't so harsh I always find as well that having a tissue you know so you can just dust your brush off is really really handy and just do this side I did only bring one makeup palette with me, one eyeshadow palette, and I'm so glad I brought this one because it really is like a good, a good all-rounder palette. Um, I'm, I'm just so disappointed. I can't see a name on it for you, you know. But that's the back of it, you know. I'll show you the back of it. That's it. But I definitely, definitely recommend that. Really recommend it. It is really highly pigmented, you can see. You know, it's, yeah, really nice. I've got this Kiko palette as well. And I do, um, little, it's not a palette, a shadow. And this is really nice. And um, it's got like a nice little shimmer in it. And I was going to use this. But you know, guys, I just, I, I like this. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to use that one. So... Next, I do like to do my eyebrows, and um, I didn't have time to colour my eyebrows. I normally do, um, because they're fading, you know, they're getting really lighter with age. Um, I do have the the hair there, just it's very fair, and um, I've not had the time to colour my hair. I've not had the time to colour my eyebrows, like over the Christmas period. I've never had time for anything, guys, really. Um, so I'm just going to pencil them on. And I've had this pencil for years, you know. I just I can't remember where it's from. It's probably just like a cheap one. Need the magnify inside of the mirror. I can't see. <laughs> oh, that's a bit better. Right, guys, so that's my brows done. Um, you know, the, the sisters, the not twins, <laughs> that's fine. You know, our faces are not symmetrical. Nobody's face is fully symmetrical. Um, I'm going to do a little bit of eyeliner as well. Um, I don't do much eyeliner. Okay, so I've popped on some eyeliner. Next, I'm going to, I use two mascaras, guys, and I use this um, Too Legit, and this is the Lacura one. Love it, absolutely love it. I've repurchased it. It's it's relatively cheap. I think it's like $3.99 or $4.99, so it's, it's not expensive at all. And um, this is the brush. It's a really, really nice brush. You know, it's... Um, and you see it's got this little bit on the end so you can get in really tight places with it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this on. I'm not going to put a lot on guys because I'm putting false lashes on. So it's definitely a false lash night tonight. Okay, so that's enough of that one. But I do absolutely love the Hypnose Drama by Lancome. And I've used this I've used this mascara for quite a while now. So I'll just pop a bit of that one on. I never have put it on my bottom lashes, guys. It's not a good look for me, you know. Um, it makes me look. Um, it doesn't widen my eye. It just makes me look as if I've got like bags under my eyes. It's really not a good look for me. Anyway, I'm going to put my lashes on. I 
I have no clue where my tweezers are. So, I do like to use the tweezers. I'm going to have to go and find them, guys. Otherwise, this isn't going to go well. Right, guys, I've found my, la my not lashes. <laughs> you think I'd had a drink already and I haven't. I found my tweezers. Um, I have only got the one pair with me and I, I, I have like two pairs. So I have a pair dedicated to applying lashes and I've got a pair dedicated to, you know, plucking. Um, but I've only brought the one pair. So I'm going to have to just like make do. <laughs> so I do like to use this glue. I'll show you the glue in case I haven't shown you it before. And it's the Dewa eye glue. Now I have really, really sensitive eyes. Can you see that, guys? It's the green one. I got this from Primark. Now I did, um, can you remember when the Dewa was in a squeezy tube and you used to waste a lot of product? And I, I did used to use that one. Then I got um, allergic to it. I had irritation and uh, I couldn't use it anymore. Then I changed to a Revlon one and they discontinued it. So then I tried this green one and this is fine. So if you do have dry eye or sensitive eyes, you know, this one might be okay for you. Listen to her, honestly. You can tell who's the favourite, can't you? It's because she thinks he's gone for a walk again. And um, yeah, she just likes being out, basically. <laughs> she doesn't like being in the name of me in the room. She likes to be out. Roaming around, yeah, she just likes to be roaming around in the outside, you know, with the nature. That's fun. <laughs> oh, you know what, guys? When the door opens, when David comes back and the smell from the kitchen is amazing it's just like coming all the way through the um the hotel you know and uh chris the chef is um he's cooking i don't know what down there but it smells gorgeous i think he's doing a curry definitely doing a curry because um when david came back up i went what the cooking downstairs i said it smells amazing he says oh chris is cooking a curry and all sorts of goodies for like tonight's buffet um, so I'm looking forward to that. Right guys, I've got my lashes on and I'm just going to tight line underneath. I wish I'd had a pencil sharpener with me. This might be a bit tricky because my pencil, as you can see, is blunt. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Right guys, um, next I'm going to line my lips with um, this lip liner. Am I? Oh, got pencil sharpener. Oh, excellent. Let's give this a little sharpen. Okay, that'll do. That's enough sharpening. <laughs> Improvisation. So, I'm just going to line my lips. I hope you can see. And I ju I'm just slightly outlining, like overlining. Okay, so I've just o overlined slightly my lips. And then I'm going to use this lipstick. I'll leave that liner out because I will need to be reapplying and it's just uh, this is just a mini one and it's from Lancome um, I can't see the colour guys uh, but it's a really really red one you know so I'm going to pop this on it's like a base And then because I, I'm wearing like a pink look and the red lip doesn't look like great but in all honesty I forgot to get bring a pink liner so um yeah <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna smudge this a little okay guys so that lip is like really really bright red and um, as I say my dress is pink so I'm just gonna use this one you know from Primark it's that same make is the um 
is the palette, the eyeshadow palette um, in this white packaging. I think the packaging's really quite nice. This is like a rose colour, um, a rosy pink colour. It's really, really nice. Again, I wish I bought more of these ones. It just really is a nice all-time nude colour. And I think if you've got like a cooler skin tone, the roses suit like the cooler skin tone like mine. But I don't like it when it's like got a really purpley hue to it. Because in all honesty guys, it makes me look like I'm having heart trouble. And that's not a good look. <laughs> okay. That's kind of blended it down a little bit, hasn't it? So, yes, um, I think I'm done with my makeup. I'm quite happy with this. You know, it's enough for me. Um, I don't really go for, like, this is as much as it gets, guys, for me. Like, with makeup, I'm just, when I was younger, I probably wore a bit more makeup than I do now. But um, I think sometimes less is more, isn't it? Um, and I never like to look sort of cakey either. Um, and again, I've never brought any fixing spray either, so um, <laughs> I didn't do well with me packing this time, <laughs> but never mind, it's worked. So guys, I'm just going to um, do my hair and put my dress on and then I'll come back and show you the look. Hey guys, I'm all ready for the New Year's Eve party and um, I've got my dress on from Madeline. It's this beautiful star dress. I'll come a bit closer so you can see it. I have hauled this in the past. It's a really like nice satiny material and it's got the lovely sleeves. I really like it. It's quite long on me because I'm short. Um, I do have heels on. I've had these shoes for a long, long time. Can't remember where I bought them from. My bag is from F&F. &F. Um, the little thing here, Happy New Year on my head. The tiara is from Primark a few years back. And what else? Um, my jewellery here. It's from Matalan as well, and it's just a necklace and matching earring set. So uh, yes, I'm all ready for the, you know, the New Year's Eve party. I just like love how this dress is like tiered. There's like three beautiful tiers to it, and I'll just turn around because it's shorter at the front than it is at the back. And this is it. It's just a really really nice dress. I think it's perfect for a New Year's Eve. Um, so uh, yes guys, me and David are off now and uh, I would just like to wish us all a very, very happy New Year's Eve. Right guys, um, my outfit of the day, we're going on a dog walk. My outfit of the day is, um, I've got this jacket on that I got from, um, it's an M&S jacket and I got it from Vinted. Um, I've got a jumper on from Primark which was like just five pound. I've got the shirt, checky shirt on from Primark. Um, I've got just jeggings on. They're not jeans, I don't wear jeans. Uh, these are jeggings. So they're very like elastic with an elastic waist. And um, my boots are the Regina's from Fairfax and Fever. And I've just put the beige tassel on to, um, you know, to match the jumper. Oh, my hat is barber, and there's a, there's a horse wants to be in in this short. My hat is barber, um, which is like a Christmas gift. guys line of sheep it's like follow the leader can you see the line of sheep <laughs> yeah. obviously on a mission of some sort I just think that's so funny group of sheep up ahead <laughs> it looks like an ambush <laughs> we've got Lily on our lead uh, Lily's are, are okay with other animals, you know. She'd run a mile if one mm. barred at her. We've got 
got frozen puddles. It's a beautiful morning. Absolutely stunning morning. This, there's the hall in the, I love it when you see the hall and the sun shining on it, you know, basked in like the sunlight, it's beautiful. And it's just like, there's nothing here, you know, it's just so remote. You know, you can't get a phone signal, so, um, yeah, forget about civilization while you're here. <laughs> Guys, listen. I love the sound of this. Listen. Know what I'm saying? Bear. Do they go on? Bear. 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 Right guys, my outfit of the day is, um, well, come on, <laughs> my um, green jean here, um, fleecy top, um, green leggings, I think these were from Primark, the fleecy top was from um, the Mountain Warehouse, the jean here, um, can't remember, Amazon, Amazon, and the boots um, are the Fairfax and Fever ones. And I've still got the brown tassels and I haven't changed them up yet. Uh, oh, and my bag. My bag's Radley. Um, yes, guys, I did the uh, handbag collection and uh, I haven't finished it. I just stopped it because we got Christmas, like December, and uh, Vlogmas. So um, I'll, I'll carry that on as well. Like, I'll do the rest of my handbags. And, um, yeah, so I'll do that in the new year. No, it is the new year. This is um, Clennell Hall's resident doggy, and he's he's gorgeous. He is. He's a cocker spaniel. Cocker. Where was he? A cocker spaniel. Yeah. But he's lovely. He's dead friendly. Right, guys. Um, I hope you've um, stuck to the end. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, and for all of you who um, on, on my last video, I did see what kind of videos do you like and things. And uh, I got some like great feedback. But um, please rest assured that the fashion, you know, the clothing and the try-ons, they aren't going to go. You know, um, they are staying. Uh, in fact, I've got a couple coming up as well uh, for you. So um, yes, that's my that's. 
like my thing, the clothing end of it. Uh, so that's here to stay, guys. Um, I was just thinking of adding more in, not taking things away, really. The holes as well, they are still going to remain. So, guys, um, if you've liked this video, I would love it if you would press the like button. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it would be fantastic if you would subscribe. So until the next video, I hope you all stay safe and healthy. And I shall see you in the next one. Bye.